It's been more than three weeks since wildfire tore through the historic town of Lahaina on the island of Maui. The death toll stands at 115 people, but there are still dozens missing. Search and rescue crews are suspending their operations and lawmakers are now setting their sights on how to rebuild. But locals there are still expressing concerns over those efforts, along with other plans to help the state's housing crisis. In July, Hawaii Governor Josh Green issued an emergency housing proclamation in an effort to create affordable housing for all of the state. It involves suspending several laws, including historic preservation and environmental reviews. He says the goal was to reduce red tape, but community members fear that instead it will have a negative impact on rebuilding Maui, giving the oppor opportunity to force out locals and hurt the environment. And they had no problem letting the city council know that at their meeting last night. We don't need an unelected official rubber stamping things as our means of government. That's not what we were intended for. We have a charter for a reason. We have a constitution for a reason. The reason these regulations are in place is because we live in an incredibly special, special area with a lot of cultural and a lot of environmental resources that need to be protected. Yes, it's a crisis, affordable housing, but this is, but to, to take down our rights, to take down democracy. Representatives for the organization contracted to build new homes says the group will not focus on Lahaina until the community is ready and oversight committees are already part of the group of people who sign off on projects. But those aren't the only questions community members have. Yeah, there are calls for more accountability from the local leaders for their actions that day, including calls for the mayor to step down. Allison Blair takes a closer look. Public outcry hit a new high after a press conference Tuesday when top officials refused to take onus for their part in an emergency communication breakdown that ultimately wiped out a town. I'm not sure who was in charge. We don't know how many other people maybe died waiting for a response. You don't think there's anything your agency? I don't, I don't, I personally, I don't think so. The continued lack of accountability from top officials has prompted tens of thousands to sound off on social media saying things like, really? This is what you say when so many lives have been lost? And it was their job to be on high alert, calling answers pathetic, unprofessional, and lacking remorse. Many are baffled as to why the mayor wouldn't say where he was during the disaster and why it took more than 12 hours for the state's top emergency management leader to realize people were dead. Now there's a growing call for those in charge that day to either step down or be fired, particularly Mayor Richard Bisson. If he wants to stay in the job, I think that, um, you know, that level of transparency needs to, to increase. If it looks like public officials are trying to hide something, all that does is, uh, you know, add fuel to the fire of conspiracy rumors or people's frustrations. Political scientist Colin Moore says over the past three weeks, there's been too much finger pointing between state and county leaders. In a catastrophe of this magnitude, that's that's not satisfying. If there were failures and those should be acknowledged. And I think for people at the very top, um, you know, ultimately, this is their responsibility. Moore says time to do that is quickly running out. I would like to see more apologies made. At the end of the day, the purpose of government is to protect people. Government didn't protect people on that day, um, and so it was a failure, and that failure needs to be acknowledged. Late today, Mayor Bisson responded to those calls to step down, saying in part, our people who are suffering immeasurable hardships are rightfully seeking and deserve answers, adding he will continue to bring forward state and federal resources, work with our affected communities and leverage all we can to help our recovery efforts and our island's future. Hara also responded, saying he acknowledges frustrations, but believes a lot of the anger is the result of misinformation, disinformation, and malinformation, adding he stands by his actions and has no intention of resigning unless directed to do so by the governor. The governor told us he won't judge anyone. This is not the time for that. That was Allison Blair reporting. If you're looking for ways to donate to people impacted by the fires in Hawaii, you can just text the word Maui to 207-828-6622 and we'll send a link with information to your phone.